The housing market is always changing. You know, sometimes it's right for the buyer. Sometimes it's right for the seller. But it's always the right time to talk about paper cut in the real estate market. Hey, now, Doc Balji, subject matter expert from ACDI with tips and tricks for setting up a real estate office and using paper cut to help keep track of the busy agents and staff. Today's webinar builds on some concepts from the last couple of technical webinars. In legal, we talked about using the direct print monitor, or DPM. And with our shared workspace session, user management was discussed. We can reuse that info, and I welcome you to check out ACDI's YouTube channel to watch the replays of those vertical markets if you have questions about some of the settings. And since we know about them, we have a good understanding of how to deal with users that are not in a directory and ways to track jobs without using a print server. Both of those items could come in handy when configuring PaperCut in a real estate environment. As we discuss real estate opportunities today, I think we should take a look at the common challenges that many real estate offices face. Many times there's only a couple of people in the office that take care of the day-to-day -day business, you know, answering phones and that type of thing. Many of the realtors themselves do not work from the office as they are at open houses or out and about showing potential buyers different properties. Many realtors are working from mobile devices, not just smartphones and tablets, but laptops, both Mac and PC. Since there are only a couple of people in the office and maybe a copier or two, there isn't even an IT staff. Many times an outsourced company is used. Or since heavy computing is not really necessary in the real estate business, the IT person might even be the local staff member or possibly even a relative. But there's one very challenging thing for them, and that's printing. Whether they need to print in the office or just have a document or flyer waiting for them, it's paramount to their success. So let's see how we can do this. There are essentially three types of configurations for real estate offices, ranging from large to small. You may find the corporate office has more staff available and other resources like a high-speed color device to print flyers and other publications. They might have a larger corporate office with a marketing department and many support personnel. There may even be a smaller branch of this agency that has a different office configuration. A branch or smaller agency may have only one or two people on staff at all times with maybe just one MFD available for output. And a sub-office might not even be manned on a regular basis, ready for an agent to have a place to talk with their prospect and perhaps print needed documents for their clients. Corporate offices have multiple print servers in one location. Or there may be a branch office with a print server. Both are essentially configured the same way. You may have PaperCut running on its own server using an RDBMS when necessary. That would be like SQL Server, MySQL, Postgres, Oracle. Those are a few of the supported databases that can be used with PaperCut. Print servers are used in this configuration, and if it's a branch office, a VPN might be used to get the data from there back to the application server. Workstations can be any operating system. We speak Mac very well, so don't worry if your customer says they're all Mac or use a combination. Print jobs go through the print servers and are captured by paper cut. The MFPs have the embedded apps on them to track copy and scans. A smaller real estate agency might have something like this set up with PaperCut residing on a server that hosts the print queues and the workstations print through the server so PaperCut can track the activity. An RDBMS is always available to be used. However, you'll probably not encounter one unless they want to run some external reporting systems. The built-in Apache Derby database should be fine in almost all configurations like this. And finally, the sub-office, or a very small agency with a couple of people, looks like this. 
will run paper cut on a small computer somewhere in the facility. Hey, you might even want to take a look at ACDI's Print Hub, a turnkey solution that's ideal for this type of environment. Talk to your ACDI representative about this simple, cost-effective solution that comes with a computer and paper cut software. We'll also hear more about that in the sales webinar coming up this afternoon at 1 o'clock with Casey Cobb. This setup takes advantage of the direct print monitor that can install on Windows or Mac computers and tracks the local print queues, whether it's direct IP or a USB direct connect. PaperCut can obtain the info with the direct print monitor installs in just a couple of minutes, and sends all print data to the PaperCut server for tracking and reporting. If it's an unmanned office for agents to use, then you can use this same setup, but instead of the workstations, you'd probably deploy mobility print so they could connect and print, authenticated and tracked to the device. Direct Print Monitor, or DPM, is also on our list here for components that you may need for a successful real estate implementation. You can see a screenshot of what direct IP queues look like with their respective hosts. This becomes one printer in the paper cut list, so you can apply filters or report on them as one entity. For more discussion on the direct print monitor, Check out the technical webinar from a couple of months ago on the legal vertical that's posted on our YouTube site. Other considerations for real estate offices are secure print and or find me cues. The client software might need to be installed on the office computer so they can apply charges to shared accounts if you have it set up that way. Mobility print is going to be essential for any real estate office and with PaperCut, it's easy to set up and use. Not every real estate agency is going to use shared accounts. Some may just want to build back to the specific agent instead of the property. But if you do need to use shared accounts, there is some exciting news with Mobility Print as version 19 will let you choose the account selection at the device from a mobile print. Wasn't available previously to version 19, so how cool is that? This feature now available on Fuji Xerox, Xerox Secure Access EIP 1.5 and above, HP OXP, Konica Minolta iOption, Toshiba MDS, Ricoh Smart SDK, Sharp OSA with the HTML browser N2.0, and Kyocera. On incompatible devices, you can always apply a shared account with the web client. That's available at the server address colon 9191 slash client. Advanced finishing options are typically not available with mobility print. And I know a lot of real estate agencies that have a shared computer just set up for agents to use for that. If they want to compile a booklet or they need other options like hole punch, for instance, then set up the paper cut client to pop up for every job. This way it will account for everything per agent or property as the client can then pop up for the chargebacks. As to the users, we can grab them from Active Directory, G Suite, LDAP, or even create an internal paper cut user without the need of any other directory service running. As you can see on this screenshot, we can even put a link on the client for an end user to create their own account. You know, the new PaperCut licensing model allows for unlimited users now. So it doesn't matter if there's a lot of turnover at the agency. You can track everyone who has ever been there now without worrying about your user count. For more information about users, check out our Shared Office Space webinar from February posted on the ACDI YouTube site. A lot of great information in that webinar about user management, especially if you don't have a directory service running. I mentioned before that you'll need mobility print for a real estate implementation, and in typical paper cut fashion, deployment has been improved. You still have MDNS and the typical DNS setups available, but now in version 19, there is a new option for printer discovery. Now, this is in addition to MDNS and DNS SD. This allows you to specify the mobility print server address through a link in the downloaded file, profile, or pushed from G Suite. 
New enhancements also include the ability to install multiple Windows Mobility print queues all at once instead of one at a time. Depending on how we're accounting for things, reports can be run and even automated to provide the data for chargebacks to the agent or property. There are a multitude of user reports that can be initiated with a couple of clicks and the same thing with shared accounts. You could even print invoices for properties with PaperCut. And if you really want to see everything, you could turn on the option to charge the personal account of the agent and allocate the job to shared accounts for reporting. Keep that in mind if that's what your customer is looking to do. Just a matter of which checkbox you take to make that happen. Easy stuff. And of course, testing, testing, testing. It's an overlooked but very important step to deployment, and it's always best to check things out on the day of install when everything is fresh in your mind and you can troubleshoot something if need be. Leave it to later and something just might come back to bite you. Here I'm talking about mobility print, and it would be best to check all platforms. You can see how many jobs have been sent in the mobility print admin screen. The setup URL is also available right there for you to push out. And finally, let's talk about how to get prints into the system from outside the network, into the network, accounted for, and charged accordingly. There's a couple of great ways to do that. One is by incorporating Printer On. Easy web submission and apps for iOS and Android provide convenient ways for agents to print while on site. Another popular option is PaperCut's Email to Print. Since every device can email, this can be very useful for printing when you're not on the internal network. You'll want to set up a sandbox server for these jobs. And don't forget, if you want to print Word and Excel files, then you'll need a copy of Microsoft Office running in that sandbox environment as well. And there you have it. Best practices for real estate offices. There can be a lot of agents in and out of an agency, so don't forget about the new PaperCut licensing model, unlimited users with a device license. This implementation works out very well, and there are many small, medium, and large agencies that use PaperCut now, as it's the easiest print management system to roll out in an environment like this. And with the continuous delivery of mobility print, you'll always have the latest version available with updated feature sets. Keep listening throughout the year as we bring you updates as they happen with PaperCut. And thanks for joining today. I'm the doctor for ACDI.